Hi. Now I'm very aware I've made a few of these videos now about uh, my bike setup, but I finally settled on um, what I'm going to be using for the coming season. So I just thought I'd do like a, a one-off um, uh, setup guide or run through of what I've uh, decided on. And um, so here we go. This is my Smokestone Bowtie Titanium Fat Bike. And as you can see, and I've probably mentioned this before, you can fit different wheels in it. So these wheels I've tried once. They are 29, uh, 29 by 3. So um, I know it's not a fat bike setup, but it's more aimed at if you're going to do long, long road miles or long, hard packed tracks that don't require a fat bike tyre, then this is probably the, the wheel option that I'll go for. But... Having tried so many times different wheel sizes, I always end up back on these again. Um, just four inch fat bike wheels. But anyway, uh, as it stands at the moment, the bike's got these wheels in it. The rest of the bike will stay the same. In the past, I have already mentioned um, about the handlebars and the saddle and all the rest of it. But I thought I'd just run through it quickly, just in case you haven't seen the other videos. Um, you'll also see I've now got uh, plenty of water carrying. Um, basically, this is all down to the fact that we... Uh, during lockdown have been encouraged not to go anywhere to get like shops and stuff like that so what i've been trying to do is kate make myself um self-sufficient so i i probably won't run all this lot this is a rather extreme setup when it comes to water but i've got the options to run lots and lots of um water carrying and there you go so what i've got is uh, a wee cog frame bag i think i've shown you this before but this is a frame bag made by by uh, Rebecca up at Wee Cog in Scotland. Brilliant quality. It's got two um, compartments in it. As you can see, waterproof zip. Really love it. I've, I've gone for the lace option because it just looks cool and orange, but probably probably um, a speedier setup would be Velcro straps, but anyway. Um, and um, my bags of choice are Miss Grape. I love them. They're super tough, waterproof. Um, obviously we sell them so that's a slightly makes me slightly biased but I've tried lots and lots of bags these have come out to be the best uh, I've got loads of fastening so it makes them nice I'm in here I've got a two-man tent um, a sleeping mat pillow uh, and uh, yeah I think that's all that's in there and then I've got stuff sacks on the front for snacks I may put a water bottle in there uh, just because it's handy to get to and I've got no water bottle mount in the frame now so the, all this water is just for stowage for when I need it um, on the back again Miss Great Bag thoroughly waterproof again in there I've got cooker clothes uh, sleeping bag just about everything really then all the heavy stuff tools um, and so on go in there food um, so that's that so basically I just wanted to uh, go over what I've ended up with um we will one day get out and actually use this stuff uh, i've done one night out it's just ridiculous um but i'm just gagging like everybody else to get out and try stuff again and um i just thought i'd just just run through it the bike itself is as i mentioned is a, a bow tie frame ours uh it's got a 177 rear end uh for a four inch tire we offer this bike this frame in both 197 and 177 setups clearly you can you can have this bike to take a four inch tire uh, sorry a five inch tire we're also catering for the new 27.5 by 4.5 inch wheel size so the new bow tie frames will cater for that uh, keep everything up to date um, frames come with a choice of internal or external cable routing you can have pannier mounts on the back I am actually in the process of developing a new cargo sort of car come cargo frame just with a slightly longer rear end just to cater for a bit more bag space um, and load carrying ability uh, that's still in the pipeline that's something I'm working on for me and if people want it then it'll be one we offer but at the moment this bike I've done lots of miles on and I absolutely love it uh, I've touched on this a lot this bar setup is the business um, I've gone drop bars, I've gone straight bars, I've done everything, and this is the setup that I will run permanently now. I've mentioned this all before on various videos. These are a set of Coyote handlebars, um, Richie Coyotes, uh, 27 degree back sweep, 
35 mil rise with bar ends. We, we've now got these other bar ends now. This is a cheaper set. We got them for like 16 quid, I think. They're a copy of the profile one, but exactly the same. Um, I've taped them all up so it's nice and comfy. Uh, I put my lights or GoPro on the front, so I've got loads of space for stuff. And um, it's just a really, really good setup. I'm running a mud hugger front mud guard all year round. I slightly trim this one down a bit just because I run a Edna front tire and it just clips the front of a mud hugger. So I've just trimmed it off. And then while I was doing it, I just thought I'd make it a bit more speedy looking. Um, run a uh, rigid aluminium salsa bear paw front fork, which has got mounts on it. It's not the lightest fork, but it is strong. And obviously you're going to be carrying quite a bit of weight on the legs. And the thing that swung it for me is I actually had it rather than go and buy another fork. Um, components are all Hope. Got Hope Herbs, Cranks, Headset, uh, Brakes, you name it. It's all Hope components, the best. And um, so there you have it really. Uh, Tyres on this bike are Terravale Coronado 29 by 3s as I mentioned. Um, I have got a rear Coronado 4 inch, which I've mentioned before. Uh, this one has done a year. This is pretty getting pretty worn now, but it's still enough to probably do me for a little bit longer. Um, I've used this in the wet recently in the snow. Fine, absolutely fine. The only letdown is if you're going down something steep and you want to stop, this will not break. It's got it's rubbish for braking. It's good for everything else. Good for traction and for power going forwards for drive, but not the best tire when you want to hit the brakes and um, have some control. Uh, front, as I say, is an Edna. This tyre choice is really, really good. I love it. Um, and rims again, as I mentioned before, are head 26 inch wheels, uh, carbon rims, 410 grams. These are taking some punishment. They've just done like two seasons. Absolutely fine. They do, when you pick them up and you get them initially out of the box, they feel like paper. You think these aren't going to last five minutes, but yeah, they've done me proud. So sticking with them. And um, that's it basically. I just thought I'd run that past you, just show you the final setup. And um, like I say, one day we will get out and ride. All the best, everybody, and stay safe. I shall see you soon. Cheers.